Hey guys, I'm here in my Orange County studio and I have a ton of shoots lined up for this weekend, but uh, the one thing that I didn't do this weekend was bring my toddler with me, so I have a ton of time to actually be able to catch up on some stuff that I normally don't get to do when I'm with him. One of the things is like making these videos for you guys. You're probably wondering why I'm so glammed up and everything. I actually did my own maternity shoot uh, earlier today and my friend Veronica came in and shot me and then my uh, other friend Ash again and actually did the hair and makeup so uh, I'm really excited that I get to kind of do a video all glammed up like this. I wanted to talk to you guys about my recent model call in Sacramento and how I thought it was really successful and some of the basic qualifications that I did to kind of help facilitate that. In Sacramento I just moved into a new studio space and it's a bigger space. It has all our wants that we been looking for um, like a private bathroom and a wardrobe closet and just an overall bigger space uh, and one of the things about getting into new studio space is that you actually have to think about building your portfolio again because as always I've mentioned to you guys before I feel like the work clients are very very visual they really want to know where they're shooting you know how the photos are going to turn out that you know you've posed people there before you know that you kind of know what you're doing uh, and I think that because if you can provide that to them visually, it really helps build trust with your client um, and it really helps them push them towards you know wanting to come into the studio space. In the past, I would hire a semi-professional model to kind of come in and do the shoot and I would be able to post the photos. But what the feedback I would always get from clients is that, hey, your photos are really beautiful, but I'm not a model, uh, and they wouldn't want to come into the studio because of that. And Sacramento is such a small community that a handful of models basically model for a lot of other photographers so their photos are basically everywhere uh, and I really wanted to stay away from that this time uh, so there was a few goals I wanted to do with the model call um, one to get portfolio images but also I really wanted to be able to maybe get the women that were coming into model uh, to upgrade packages as well so it was really a good way for me to be able to get portfolio images but also to provide the service to women that maybe might have not paid my session fee in the past. So what I did was for the model call, I waived my session fee. My session fee is usually $2.99 and it comes with a 60 minute shoe in a couple digital files or two five by sevens depending on um, you know, what I want to give them. If it's a little bit a little bit less work to do two digitals, you know, but uh, but if you can do two by five sevens, um, you can cut basically kind of sell them the digital. So it's kind of a little bit of incentive to you know maybe get it a little bit of funds from them wanting the digital so um, that would be kind of benefit of doing two high by sevens okay for the wave session fee I asked that they would sign a model release allow me to share their photos online do behind the scenes videos and do before and after images and the last and final thing is I wanted them to put $150 down towards hair and makeup and in turn I would turn that $150 toward a voucher that so that way they can actually add on more photos. And I made sure to let people know that they did not have to spend over the $150. Um, so that really kind of opened it up so that way women didn't feel like uh, they would have to spend a, a big amount of money for me because it wasn't like um, that was the initial goal. It was kind of a really just a cherry on top if they were to upgrade to like a package or something like that, okay? Um, and I did that for a few different reasons um, because I really wanted women to be invested in their photo shoot. If I just gave away the session fee for free and I didn't have them put any money down, I would probably get a lot of women that would want to reschedule and they felt like they didn't have put any value um, into the shoot itself. And so I really wanted women that were serious um, and that women that were willing to um, put investment into the shoot. Um, and so, um, you know, I wouldn't get a lot of cancellation and flakes and things like that, okay? So when women applied, I wanted them to send me a photo, and then I also wanted them to send me a brief explanation of why they wanted to model. Out of the 20 women that applied, 50% uh, of them were class clients, which I thought was really, really interesting because they, you know, they were past clients that already had paid a session fee with me before and that would already had paid for upgrades before. Uh, so. The theory of the model call basically kind of devaluing you, I feel like that is, there's really no truth in that because those women obviously knew what I charge uh, because they paid for me already before. The other 50% were women that, you know, 
haven't shot with me before. I picked eight of the 20 women, and I'll tell you the reason. I'll tell you this qualifications on what how I picked them. Okay. The, uh, four of the eight women were women I previously already shot, uh, and the reason why I picked them was because they were already past clients. I figured if anybody deserved a free session fee waived, it would be a past client that I've already paid for my session fee before. Uh, and then the other four were women that haven't shot with me before, and I picked them based on their stories. I wanted women that had stories that said that said something about confidence boosting, about you know new mom that lost her sexy, things like that. Those are stories that are very impactful to other women that they, they other women can relate to. Women that actually will pay for your services. Uh, so that was the reason why I picked them. I did not pick the women based on looks. The other women that I did not pick, the reason why I did not pick them, even though they were some of them were very, very cute and actually were really portfolio worthy, um, I didn't pick them because they said stuff like they wanted free photos, they um, had modeled for other photographers in the past, they um, you know, they weren't able to afford a shoot, things like that. Uh, so those those are the reasons why I didn't end up picking those those women, because I didn't want women that were just looking for free photos and that they weren't um, going to be invested in the shoot, and I, that I needed women that were a little bit more invested in the shoot and my time, and and that the photos would be of value to them. Okay, uh, so six of the women actually replied back, and I think the reason why is because of that hundred and fifty dollars, because um, some some of the women probably didn't want to put put it down, and that is totally fine. I would rather know that up front, right? Because now I know, okay, if they can't put $150 in death on now, what are the chances are they're gonna upgrade? So that's one of those things. And then if they can't put $150 now, then it kind of means that they're not very serious about their shoot. And I'm one of women that were serious, okay? Um, so I scheduled those six women, they put their $150 down, you know, and I basically said to them, um, I reiterated to them before they I scheduled them. This is what's included in this in in the shoot. I'm waiving the session fee, but in return, you know, you have to sign a model release, and you have to put $150 down. Make sure that you're comfortable with that, okay? And then one girl came back and said she wasn't comfortable, and that was totally fine. And I said that's fine. You know, this is the reason why I'm reiterating these things to you. I sent them out a contract like normal. Um, the only thing I changed was at the model release area. My normal contract has a model release area that allows them to check to how private they want their photos. The new contract, I just took that out and I just put a normal model release so that way they could sign an initial stating that they were going to let me show their photos. Okay, and then of course I sent them the contract and I sent them an invoice for $150 before I, I scheduled them into the books. Okay, so I shot all those women. I did the viewing for five of the six women and Four of the six um, actually ended up upgrading over $500 or more. Um, so I was really, really surprised by that and I was really pleased by that. Uh, so overall, I still have one viewing to do, but I think that, that that woman is definitely going to buy Canvas or something like that. Uh, so I'm really happy about the outcome of the model call itself and I think that it can actually really work for you as a business model if you or to do it that way. Or, you know, if you're just looking for photos for your portfolio, um, I think that it actually can work. Um, and if you work it right and do it well, um, and you're smart about it, you can actually get those women to actually upgrade um, their packages. So the, the, the big thing is, you know, don't give out too many photos. You know, uh, if you have a session fee, you can wait for session fee as long as there's you know, not giving away 10 photos or something. Once you start giving away like 10 photos, people become really satisfied with the number of photos they have and they're not going to upgrade any further or buy an album or anything like that. Uh, so you want to, you know, waive your session fee, but, you know, give away kind of, you know, a couple photos to kind of keep them satisfied. I think it was really important that I put that, I asked them to put the $150 down because I really kind of pre-qualified them and just kind of weeded out all the people that couldn't afford it at all because if they can't afford 150, they're not going to be able to afford a book or anything like that, you know. Uh, and it was really important to kind of pre-qualify them based off of the explanation they sent you um, regarding in their email. So if you're running a model call, hopefully this little video kind of helps you guys a little bit to give you a better idea of how a model call can work and the qualifications that you need to look for to. Um, bring in the correct type of woman into the studio. Okay, 
If you have any questions, make sure you message me or send me a email or you know, you're welcome to comment on the video below. As always, I will talk to you whenever I talk to you. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do another video soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.